ಶ್ರೀ ಸಚಿದಾನಂದ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಸಾಯಿನಾಥ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಕಿ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸಚರಿತ್ರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಟ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ಹಂಬಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಲೋಡಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಸಾಯಿ ಬೈ ದ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಾಯಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಟು ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಟ್ ದ ಜಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮನಾಥನ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಟೆಲಿಕಾಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸಾಯಿ ಟಿ ವಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ಲಿ ಡನ್ ಟು ಶೇರ್ ದ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಆಫ್ ಸಾಯಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಆಸ್ಪಿರೆನ್ಸ್ ಓಂ ಗುರುರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಡಿಯರ್ ಡೆವೋಟೀಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸಚರಿತ್ರ ಆಸ್ ನರೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಹೇಮತ್ ಪಂಜಿ ಇನ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಯೇಷನ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ಎವಿಟಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಡೆವೋಟೀಸ್ ಟು ನೋ ದ ಲೈಫ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ ಡೆವೋಟಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ರಾವ್ ಮುಕುಂದ್ ಬೂಟಿ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಬಾಪು ಸಾಹೇಬ್ ಬೂಟಿ His first name is Gopal Rao, is the son of Mukund Rao and Bhuti is the surname. Three generations prior to Bapu Sahib Bhuti, their family name was Garzale but then it changed to Bhuti. With reverence, he was called Babu Sahib and Shri Sai Baba lovingly called him Bhutaya. We can listen to the incidences that led to the change of the last name to Bhuti from Garzale. During the year 1873 in the district of Nagapuri at the place known as Sita Barit he was born as the third son to Mukundra of Balakrishna Bhuti so Bapu Sahib's grandfather is Balakrishna as the idiom goes born with a golden spoon Mukundra was one of those he was born affluent and his wealthiness has given him the name Malguzar in Sri Sai Satcharitra In Persian language Malguzar denotes Malik means filthy rich and or like zamindars that is landlords who were revenue farmer paying taxes to the British government Bapu Sahib Bhuti's great grandfather and forefathers were like rulers of a province Gopal Rao's great grandfather was Sada Shiv Garzale he served as a district judge in the ruler family of Bosley Apart from this the family profession was to lend money for interest and functioned as bankers of the village the villagers trusted this family and would keep their earnings in their custody Sada Shiv Garzale was closely acquainted with the ruler family he was very clever and honest hence was trusted the responsibility of managing the estates of the ruler known as King Raguji Raja Bosley The king had a sudden death and at that juncture the Britishers had already captured many states of India knowing the death of the king immediately the British government took over the kingdom of Raguji Raja Bosley on the other hand Sada Shiv Garzale was also very rich as his forefathers have accumulated abundant wealth the king had a huge elephant and horse cavalry the britishers thought these will be of no use and will be waste of resources maintaining them hence decided to auction the animals along with that ornaments made of gold silver precious stones and valuable articles were also auctioned by the british government but none had the money to purchase them the most intelligent sada shiv garzale participated in the auction and bought those precious articles at a very low price that is at a cost less than the market price not allowing much profit to be earned by the britishers thus the wealth of the king's family also got added to their existing property knowing that sada shiv garzale got the wealth from them at a very cheaper rate the britishers addressed him as booty the term booty in a, is an english term denotes robbing from them from then the family got the name booty there is another perspective among the people for this family to get the surname booty booty in marathi means a copper pot 
devotees as mentioned earlier the family business of bapu sahib booty was to lend money for interest at a fair rate they never accumulated wealth by charging exorbitant rates of interest on people their motive was not to make profit out of this business but to serve the people the family was engaged in various philanthropic activities to list a few they had built hospitals dharmashalas schools goshalas and so on in fact the public services a government should provide to the people were given by this family ramanathan brother <coughs> opines all the merits earned by the forefathers of this family collectively gave them a reward of having bapu sahib booty to be born in this noble family that he could involve in doing an immense service to shri sai maharaj another perspective is that the copper pot is called booty in marathi and was taken by this family to collect the dues from the debtors hence this family must have got the surname booty says few let us now listen more about this leading family of nagpur and the affluent life they led even prior to the british rule this family had been landlords during the rule of raguji subedar of chatisgarh was vengatrav the forefather of bapu sahib booty that we would trace information about he had two sons named sakaram and ganpatrav both held the post of subedars of chatisgarh and bandra respectively bandara respectively subedar is a prestigious position the portfolio is of a district officer this family owned 15 villages in bandara ganpatrav had three sons they were govindrav sadashivrav and nilkantrav govindrav served as an honorary magistrate while sadashivrav and nilkantrav were district judge and sub judge in the provincial judicial service they were well known banking family the original last name of garzale changed to booty from the family of sadashivrav and he resided at kuhi in umrar tahsil thus goes the family tree of sadashivrav he had two sons they were balakrishna and jageshwar balakrishna's son was mukundrav he had three sons and the third son was gopalrav mukund booty alias bapu sahib booty rav bahadur vinayak jageshwar booty was another grandson of sadashiva he was succeeded by an adopted son balaji devotees the reason behind explaining the family tree and the role played by them in the society is to make everyone aware of the greatness of bapu sahib booty's family their prosperity nobleness charitable works and the height of fame they attained by their selfless activities in the society they belong to the charak brahmins caste many marathi scriptures glorify the greatness of this caste the dedicated service rendered by this caste to the public is noteworthy as the family of booty had abundant wealth bapu sahib booty was never keen on accumulating wealth he was managing the family business the wife of bapu sahib booty was from another leading family known as gandwalkar the family of gandwalkars were very affluent and shrewd she also dedicated her life in public services along with her husband she supported all the activities of bapu bapu sahib booty bapu sahib booty's father mukundra was greatly devoted to god he was an ardent devotee of shri gajanan maharaj of shegon on many occasions the supreme saint shri gajanan maharaj had come to nagpur and blessed this family by staying in their house devotees what a great blessing for this family Shri Gajanan Maharaj is regarded as an incarnation of Lord Dattatreya. The store of merits of this family is immense that the supreme incarnation visited and stayed in their house. Mukundra would stay would start his day by worshiping Shri Gajanan Maharaj. Gopal Rao alias Bapu Sahib Booty was greatly influenced by his father's devotion and worship to the guru that at a very early age he too was devoted to God. even during his teens after returning from school he would take a shower and the first thing would be to worship shri gajanan maharaj then continue with his work 
Booty was a well-disciplined, cultured, literate and wise person, records Vinny Chitlurima. She also adds that Babu Sahib Booty had his higher education in Manchester. He was also a great scholar in Vedic scriptures. Most difficult Vedanta literature such as Panchadasi and Upanishads were in his fingertips. The services rendered by him were mind-boggling. He also supported a very famous historian, Neil Kant S. Kota Kadam, by publishing many of his books. One among those was the commentaries of Sri Krishna Lilamrit. There was one Narayan Vaman Tilak, an eminent poet. He also wished to engross his mind in writing poetry. Bhuti was an avid reader and had a great fascination for poems, so he wanted to give the poet a place to work on his poems in solitude. Hence, Bapu Sai Bhuti allotted a portion of his Havali, that is Bangalore. What a sense of service is in this. I am marvelling. To conclude, Bapu Sai Bhuti and his family have rendered an incredible service to society dedicated most of their wealth and time to serving the people, our culture, art, education and literature. They were great devotees and surrendered their life completely to the service of the Gurus. How did Bapu Sai Bhuti come to Shirdi? Who directed him to Sri Sai Baba? What were the experiences bestowed by Sri Sai Maharaj upon him? How was he protected by Sri Sai Maharaj? All these astounding leelas can be heard in the coming episode. Bo to Shri Sai, peace be to all. Om Sai Ram.